Hi, um, welcome to another Mami video. Uh, just wanted to go through the basics of the wiring of the, the Keypro version 4. So yeah, it's, uh, we have a, a diagram on the back of the, the Keypro, but I thought I'd let, let me just go through them and have like a little lab in front of us so we can see what each thing does. So let's start with the pink wires. So you'll see that there's two pink wires. So pressing the bell actually closes the circuit of the two pink wires. So if you had to, if you had a bell, you would wire in positive here and then have the bell's positive input uh, wired up to that part and then give it a common negative or vice versa. Then we have the yellow, which is like a manual override of the, the door. And if you short that out to negative, it will open the door. That's door one. And then this will be door two. Okay, so we can see that. Okay, so and then the other other things are uh, quite self-explanatory. I'm not going to go through everything. Uh, the more important things are the common for the relay. So you have a purple. This that's the common. So if you're going to use a positive trigger, you want to wire both the positive. Or if you're just using one relay, you just want to wire that relay's purple wire to positive or negative if you're using negative. Then we have a normally closed and a normally open on the orange. So the orange is normally closed. As you can see currently, we have on both relays, we have orange currently on. And then the blue, uh, let me just trigger it again, you can see is a, is a normally open. This time we're gonna show you guys how to enroll a manager card and then use that card to enroll user cards. So what we want to do is we want to go into programming mode by pressing star six nines four five six now we're in programming mode option zero one is to enroll the manager card you don't want to press hash you want to then click the the manager card then press hash now the manager card is enrolled now you can take this manager card and scan it if that green light is on you can start scanning different user cards that one's actually already been enrolled so this card is now enrolled you, and then you can just go on you don't need to go out you can just keep on enrolling cards and then marking them as you go along to exit you need to press star twice now we can use this card user cards that we've enrolled to unlock door one Okay, so this is a video on how to program a PIN and a user number on the device for door one. So we have door one indicated here. That's normally closed. That's normal. That LED is normally open. So, um, so what we want to do is we want to firstly go into master, well, into programming mode. So to do that, you need to put input the master code. That you can also change on uh, the same page, but we won't go into that for now. So we want to press star, go into the master code. So it's six nines, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're in programming mode, that LED indicated, indicated it. If it beeps twice, you did something wrong, so you need to start over. Now on page uh, eight in the manual, you'll see that we used option 11 to add a user. Um, note that this, uh, for relay one, all the user names, all the user numbers should start with one. So we're going to give it a user number of 1456 and we'll press hash and we'll give it a password of 1598. So let's just test that to exit programming mode. We want to press start twice. One, four. There we go. So that unlocked the, the door. Just a couple of other notes to make. So uh, you can't have one, two, three, four as a pin. You can't have a thousand as a pin. Um, it needs to be unique. Um, the manual indicates uh, it actually quite nicely. So just at the top of the manual, just follow that instructions and sh you should be good. This is a video on how to configure your Keypro V4 on for two relay options. So if you have two doors with the same Keypro. So firstly, we want to just add that feature. We want to enable that feature. So go to page five of your manual. And actually just take a read through that. You, you might find out a better configuration, but for this video, we're gonna use option 314, uh, oh, 312 I mean. So we wanna go into programming mode and then select 312. So let's just do that quickly. 
So programming mode, we need to enter the master code. So star, two, three, four, five, six. Then we wanna go to three, one, two. There we go. Okay, in this part of the video, we're gonna just program the relay, uh, the individual relays to have a pin and a password. So there's a couple of things that we need to note. So firstly, we need to note that if it's on relay one, it should start with, uh, the user should start with one and it can be uh, five characters long between one and 2000. The number should not exceed 2000. So just, an, just note that. And then if it's for relay two, it should start with two and not exceed 2000 again. So yeah, let's go into that. So firstly, let's go into programming the relay one. So on your manual on page eight, you will see, like in the previous video, uh, it's on page eight. We're going to use option 11. So we'll go into programming mode. So one, two, three, four, five, six, hash. Uh, option 11. Now, when I just give it a user, so we'll make it one, four, seven, eight. So if it just beeps once, it means it's accepted your user. If it beeps twice, it means your user has already been used. So just, you, just pick another user or maybe make sure that your user is actually within that boundary that I spoke about. So it's a common error that people exceed that 2000. Um, so yeah, um, so after that, you wanna press hash and now you wanna give it a pin. The pin should also, if you have two doors, the pin should also start with whatever relay you're using. Okay, it has timed out now, so I'm just gonna go through it again. So, Option 11, we want to use user 1478 hash. Note down that users because if you want to delete it, you can manually delete just that one user in the future if you just want to remove that one user. So let's just give it a pin now. 1458. Again, that has accepted the code. So now I can, you can continue adding numbers now or you can exit by pressing star. And star again if it flashes you can actually test your your pin okay now that you've added the user you can test it so you can just input your password of your pin and there you can see uh relay one door one it just opened you can set the timing of that relay as well on that exact same page um, we'll cover that in the next video okay now we're going to program relay two so we want to go into programming mode before I go into programming mode, I just wanted to explain something. So we, uh, option 11 is for relay one, option 21 is for relay two. So you'll see in the manual, it mentions that uh, everything for relay two starts with a two, everything for relay one starts with a one. So if you've enabled both, uh, both relays in that first step, you will be able to access user, uh, well, relay two's options by starting with well, two. So let's just go into it. We'll go into programming mode. We'll select 21. We'll make this user maybe 25. And we'll give it a pin of, let's say, 2335. Okay. Now we can test it. 233. Three. Oh, we want to just be sure that we exit the programming mode properly. So 2335. Three, there we go, Relay 2 is programmed. Now we're gonna show you guys how to delete a user or a card. So just to show you that this card is currently enrolled. Um, so we're gonna be deleting this card um, as an example. So what we wanna do is we wanna go into programming mode and we're gonna use option 12 or option 22 for Relay 2. Uh, in this case, it's Relay 1, so 12. Now we wanna scan that card and press star star we can test the card again as you can see that card is not enrolled anymore it's the same same with uh, using removing a user just instead of the card you'll type in your pin uh, your user number and then press star in this video we're going to show you how to change the master code uh, on your key pro v4 the default is four uh, is six nines. So what we want to do is we firstly want to go into that programming mode by pressing star, two, three, four, five, six. We're in programming mode now. Now we want to select option zero, zero for the master code, followed by your new master code. 
It has to be six digits long and you exit with hash. Oh, you have to insert it twice. Now you can exit by pressing star and you can test it. There we go. Okay, and this last part of the video, we're gonna show you how to remove all users. Just to indicate, just to show you guys that we have two card users. I'm just gonna show you. So that's it, that's two of the card users, but we don't necessarily want to remove them manually. We wanna just have one command that clears everything. So firstly, we wanna go into programming mode. Four, five, six, your pin. Then we wanna go into option zero, seven, seven, followed by four zeros. There we go. Now we can just test again. As you can see, the machine is rejecting those cards.